He's one of the most notorious characters in New Mexico. He's the big bad boogeyman that comes into Santa Fe dressed to impress, to take over the city. You can call him a chameleon of the times. These black and white photos shows his Oprah in the early years and key points in our history, like this one from World War II. His appearance reflecting a cross between Hitler and Hirohito. <laughs> then, as the years go on, Zizobra becomes the monster we need him to be, the villain of America. I think we've been very strategic on how we've done them, you know, implementing the style and the environment. In this video from 1982, you can see the marionette with buttons along his top and a black belt. About the early 30s he he started coming up with his suit he came in with a boat uh, with his buttons and he wore his cummerbund and later on in the 80s uh, he picked up the bow tie which would become his iconic look in the years to come and in 85 and 86 he had orange hair then the 90s yellow locks fast forward to the early 2000s old man gloom donned several looks the easiest change to see his hair from white to red, to purple, and then orange. And his height, starting at 15 feet in 1924, to the giant he is today. In the last few years, we've increased it even more. So now Zizobra stands about 55, 60 feet tall. One other key difference, his wardrobe changes year to year. And that's all thanks to the Decades Project. A 10-year project leading up to Zizobra's 100th anniversary in 2024. And what we thought we would do is take everybody through a little bit of a Zizobra timeline. Starting in 2014. Zizobra, you know, he had a handlebar mustache, he was bare chested, um, and it really let us pay homage to the 1920s. During the 1930s, he was a grayscaled Zizobra. Then 2016. The 1940s showed Zizobra in a fedora hat, the first time he's ever worn a hat. Um, and he wore a, a regular tie rather than his famous bow tie. Old Man Gloom has not worn a hat since this day. Then comes the 50s theme of Father Knows Best, dressed in his cardigan sweater and red nails. The 1960s showed a little bit of peace with the bolo tie. In the 1970s, he was jamming out in the uh, Saturday Night Fever outfit, uh, even with his little gold chain right there to show you. Disco was out to play. Old Man Gloom standing 50 feet 6 inches tall, looking like John Travolta. Then. Last year, we decided that 2020 was such a horrible year that we were going to pause the Decades program and actually have a 2020 Corona Zizobra. His gray hair modeled after coronavirus, murder hornets as his cufflinks, and buttons stamped with a year we all wanted to get. <laughs> but even with all his changes, he always represents one thing. Saying goodbye to all of that gloom. Sasha Leninger, KOAT, Action 7 News.